What are the differences between one way and the two way slab? All right, so let us assume a slab. Okay, so uh, the longer span is suppose it's X and the shorter span is suppose Y. All right, so if the ratio X by Y is greater than or equal to two, then we call it a one way slab, right? One way slab. If this ratio x by y is less than, sorry, not equal to less than 2, then we call it a 2 way slab. Very simple, right? So let us assume uh, the value of x is equal to 5 and y is equal to 3. Okay, so in this case, the ratio 5 by 3 is less, is less than 2, right? Okay, so in this situation, assume that uh, this slab, that is 5 by 3 slab, 3 slab, it is supported on two sides only, with, uh, with the beams, okay? So now will you call it a two-way slab or a one-way slab? So in this situation, it's a one-way slab, alright? So the definition is that one-way slab is supported on two sides only, while the two-way slab is supported on the four sides all right all the four sides it is supported on while the one-way slab is supported on the two sides only so even if the ratio is less than two but if the slab is supported on only on two sides it will we will call it a one-way slab not a two-way slab so for the slab to be a two-way so it needs to be supported on all four sides all right so it will make it a two-way slab right Way slab okay so uh, the next difference is that in a one-way slab so let's assume that this is a one-way slab the load transfer takes place like this the half of the load goes into this portion all right so this is your support and a half of the portion goes into this portion okay but in a two-way slab so if it's a two-way slab then the load transfer takes place by this all right so load goes in this way Okay, so you must have studied it in YIELT yield line theory. It also says that whenever there is crack or uh, failure of a two-way slab, the crack line generates in this manner. All right, so this is the line theory. Okay, so these are the differences between one-way and the two-way slab. Okay, so there is another kind of slab that we call it a flat slab. Flat slab. So this slab, uh, there are no beams, so this slab is directly supported with the help of the so slab, directly supported on the columns. So we call it a flat slab, all right? So this is a bonus information for you. Okay, so hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching. Take care.